Well, a very good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Twerton Park for this Somerset derby in the FA Cup third qualifying round between Bath City and Froome Town. It should be a game full of excitement, local rivals, Somerset derby for this one, and Froome Town head of it, head into it full of confidence, unbeaten so far this season. But the Romans, an excellent FA Cup record against lower league opposition under Jerry Gill, and he'll look, be looking to extend that this afternoon. I'm Michael Powell, and I'm delighted to say alongside me this afternoon is Quentin Edwards. Um, first time we've had you on the radio this season, Hugh, but very uh, warm welcome back to you, and it's uh, good to see you again. Thank you very much, and uh, looking forward to this one, as, as always with the FA Cup. I always look forward to watching Bar City, but particularly you know, the FA Cup, something special, and uh, a local derby. And uh, for me, if I may, a bit of a revenge mission, because... Uh, 19, I think it was 1984 we lost to them, 3-1, and I cycled from Bath to Badgers Hill that day and came back very despondent. At, uh, so uh, the first time since we, you know, we've met since in the FA Cup, so uh, yeah, it is uh, a chance to avenge that defeat. It um, probably was still a uh, more enjoyable cycle than it would have been today if you'd cycled today. It's a miserable day here at Twerton Park. The rain is lashing down. We didn't really mention it too much pre-match, but... They are. Um, they did knock out Oxford City in the last round, who of course had a convincing win over Bath City in the league, so not to be taken lightly. And talking about former players, Joe Raines, former Froome player, in central midfield berth for Bath City this afternoon as the two sets of players take the knee. Get a good applause from the Twerton Park crowd. And it will be Froome and John Davis who get us underway in this FA Cup third qualifying round at Twerton Park. Teal with a long ball forward. Wood It's his first touch back in the starting lineup. and a crunch and challenge by Whitcomb. And ball goes back towards Bar City area and Gehring has to clear it out for a Froome Town throw in. Sensible by Gehring. There was a possibility of uh, laying it back to Mahoney but I think he did the right thing there, didn't he? You know, put the keeper under a bit of pressure. Throw in on the Froome right-hand side which Whitcomb's take into Ollis and lays it off to Davis to Whitcomb on the right hand side crosses in Gehring heads away as far as the edge of the 18 yard box it's brought down by Ollis and a shot's blocked and then there's a miss kick in the area and eventually Jones can stab it up towards the halfway line hammering it down here at Twerton Park so a lot of people covered under the terrace on the far side but could well be another four figure gate it's cooked as well now he slips it into Smith Smith inside the area big chance he's put it wide well, what a great chance that was. A lovely ball into him. He took a touch. It wasn't... Took a little bit to get out of his feet, but it was there, and he's just gone across the goal, and expecting that far corner to bulge. Davis crosses in. It's an excellent delivery, and it's headed goalwards, but a couple of yards wide of the post from Marcus Mapstone. Was handed his league debut under Jerry Gill. And is that it? Good season for him so far. There's a miss kick in the box. There's a big chance here for Fletcher, and he's put it wide. A second big opportunity for Bath City, and the second big opportunity they can't take. And Marcus, Ma uh, Marcus Mapson will be relieved because it was his mistake that let Fletcher in, and he couldn't punish him. Covering his teal. He can clear up towards the halfway line. Cook is there again, though. He's been busy as well. Into the feet of Smith, central, midway inside the Froome half. Out to Freer on the left hand side. Slightly behind him, but still reaches the Bath City left wing back. Looking to Trey on Whitcomb, which he does, drives in across, looking for Fletcher, and it's headed beyond Keary into the far corner. Bar City take the lead in the 15th minute. He spurned a chance a few minutes ago. He's not made the same mistake again. Alex Fletcher on the score sheet. It's Bar City 1, Broome Town 0. Well, you'd say a well-worked goal. There's an inquiry going on in the back four there. How possibly the smallest player on the pitch has actually you know, been able to go up and head it headed in and also it was quite central wasn't it well you didn't head it into the corners but either corner but um, absolute delight for City it was a two on one at the far post wasn't it look to start with like Cook was maybe favourite to get them and it kind of drew the defender at the uh, far post in and just gave Fletcher that half a yard of space he needed to head home without re any real pressure and as you said excellent ball from Elliot Freer his assist and it's Fletcher's goal and Bar City have the lead as ours does well to Regain position in the centre of the pitch. Smith nice flies it through. Fletcher, he's in again here. It's an excellent sliding block on the cover by Alex Hallett. Here he goes long. Gehring nods over the top. Now breaks to Smith. Looks like it into Cook. And his shot is straight at Kiri, who nearly misjudges it. Gets it away with it a little bit. 
Jim Smith drives in across here, looking for Jones at the far post. He managed to get on the end of it. Plays it square to Rig. His ball forward is cut out by Garing. That's with Reigns on the halfway line. Crunching chance with Ollis, but the loose ball breaks to Manning. Then it's to slide it through to Davis, which he's done. Davis in the clear, takes it first time, and Mahoney can actually rather easily parry it away. Surprised Davis took it so quickly. He looked like he could have taken it in closer to the Bar City goalkeeper. City got such a miserable record in the last 10 to 15 years in the FA Cup. It's here's Cook driving in, takes a deflection on his shot. No, I think he's just uh, miscued. And runs away from Jones. Hallett is forced to clear. It's all got rather scrappy the last two or three minutes, isn't it? It has. Wood does well though to pick it up from halfway. He's now going to go for a long range strike, but that one's not troubling James Keary. No, that is uh, what you call a, a defender's strike. Teal will be the man to take it ever present so far this season started all 10 games now it's into Manning he's got away from his man slides it through it's a big chance for Rig who's off the inside of the post comes back to me blazes it over on the second attempt a massive chance for Froome Town the former Bar City man can't take it well I thought he'd scored it looked you know it was you know, just from the throw in you know they've unpicked the City defence and a uh, fantastic chance for Rig as good as uh, Davis's earlier he's opened up his body Kind of, um, you know, beaten um, Mahoney all, on, all ends up, hit the post, the ball's come back to him on the banks at an awkward angle and he's blazed it over the bar. Free leaves it for Smith, he does go for goal and it's tipped over by Carey. Yeah, good, good si save by Carey there, this, um, although it wasn't right in either corner, uh, it needed dealing with and he dealt with it very well, just, um, you know, helped us on its way over the crossbar. Yeah, save you'd expect the 21-year-old to make, but... He did, but at the concession of the Bath City corner, which Freer will swing in. Drives it in, it's headed this way, and it's into the bottom corner. Jack Batten arriving, got there first. Doubles Bath City's lead. Excellent delivery once again by Elliot Freer. And with 38 minutes on the clock, it's Bath City 2, Froomtown 0. Well, that corner would be criticising for not beating the near post. He just got it far enough and an excellent run to the near post by Jack Batten and uh, got enough on it and it's one of those that's so difficult that for a goalkeeper to get saved and if they do get anything on it it's close range over to the far post and uh, 38th minute Bar City will breathe a lot easier yeah Jack Batten's first of the season it's his first since back in 2019 last goal came against Hampton and Richmond Borough talk about plenty of connections between these sides in terms of former players Jack Batten actually works in Froome and he scored against them as Riggs lined up a long-range strike, but that one's not troubling Mahoney in sails about 10 or 15 yards over his crossbar. Yeah, nowhere near as threatening as the one which hit the post from Rig. This is Reigns. Tries to play it into Cook. He's still with it inside the box. It's well blocked, and the loose ball will just drop the way of Keary. A couple of appeals for handball, but I think the defenders were so close, couldn't do much about that. Never, ever handball. You know, <laughs> Jerry really wanting a penalty for that. He'd been apoplectic if that was at the other end and given a penalty. See Cody Cook, I think is... No, not Cody Cook. Joe Baines. Just down on his haunches. He's feeling his leg. He's going to be all right. Just noticed the bar city dugout, now sponsored by Flan O'Brien's pub in Bath. I think that's a new addition, isn't it? I've not seen that before. No, no. But what it does do, it gives me a good excuse to go there. He's Fletcher driving into the box, still Fletcher, still going, and then he's eventually run out of it by a couple of Froome Town defenders. Still bouncing around, breaks to Davis, 25 yards out. Ball breaks back to Mannings, loose ball then goes the way of ours. There's a few challenges flying oh, in. And that's a shocker. Really poor that's challenge an absolute by shocker by Teal. He's coming from miles away there. I think he'll get away with the yellow, but if it was a red, he cannot argue. Well, we, we said about 10 minutes ago when he went in really heavily on Tom Smith and he got plenty of the ball on that occasion, but that this one. one he's got absolutely nowhere near the ball. It's a really poor challenge. Should it is there. just a yellow card and I think he's very fortunate it's not red because that was a very, very poor challenge. Yeet. There was a few challenges in amongst there wasn't. The ball was flying around a few legs going in, but he just came flying in with no control. How has that not been... You know, that was a red card all day. I know we got the benefit of a replay. We thought it was red at the time, and it certainly should have been. Well, that is the half-time whistle. So here at the interval, it's Bath City 2, 
through town nil a very entertaining opening 45 minutes have to say chances big chances missed by both sides smith and fletcher guilty for bar city Davis and Rigg guilty for Froome Town, but it was Fletcher who got the opener on the quarter of the hour mark, heading in Elliot Freer's left wing cross before Jack Batten doubled the Romans' lead seven minutes before the interval, his first ever goal in the FA Cup. Yeah, two sides are back out here, though we are just underway in this second half, no changes for either side at the interval, so we'll run you through those two sides again when the ball goes out of play but at the moment it's Jones playing it down the line for Smith to chase after Hallett will get there first at the concession of a Bath City throw-in um, but City a good start you know they've been in pen fume in their own half uh, since since kickoff. this is now good play down the right hand side Jones is in the box gets the bar line pulls it back gonna oh was gonna come two hours cut took it off him it's now Freer with a chance into the bottom corner. Elliot Freer gets Bar City's third, and it could be the goal which settles this FA Cup tie. It was good pressure at the start of the second half, and less than two minutes into it, Elliot Freer has a goal. Bar City have three, and it may just end up being a comfortable afternoon for the Romans. Well, it's certainly probably is lo certainly looking that way now, and. Uh, it, was, uh, it looked like it was going to be an excellent chance for hours until Cook intervened and then he laid a nice pass off to Frio who went across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner giving uh, poor James Carey very little chance for the third time today. Honey gets given the ball back, drop ball, goes down, Cook wins the flick on now with Jones, Fletcher wants to dig a cross in and well, it's always towards goal, Carey dropped it and Smith going in couldn't quite get there, Carey pounces on the loose ball. Everything he does neat tidy and then he puts a what, 40 50 yard pass inch perfect pass like that one. right on cue to Freer who gets to the byline pulls it in towards Kirk who's headed it wide from just a few yards out well I was just expecting that net to bulge there so he looked to avoid an upset now Davis looking to jink his way through but a combination of rains and hours stop him Barsity have it back Matt Smith goes sliding in there, gets it off Cook. Now with Davis, shaping to shoot 20 yards out. In, tries to go into the box, goes down, and doesn't get anything from the referee. Just thought he might have been clipped then, I wasn't sure. 100%. Um, he's very unhappy about not getting anything. I thought, does he just have his... He was going one way or another, he's dithering on the ball. And uh, as, just as Joe Reigns is there. Yeah, dispossessed by a loft, and nice it through. Davis, the offside flag is up against him. All right, then we're going to have Omar Holness coming on. Yeah, the first substitution of the afternoon for Bar City. And you said Bar City just happy to take a little bit of a sting and a little bit of the tempo out of this game because for the best part of an hour it's been uh, fairly full on. Now with Jones on the right hand side, does well to skip away from O'Lothan. Tries to it's bend in across with the Cook into the bottom corner. Cody Cook has his goal, his sixth of the season. Bar City have four, and it's turning into the perfect effort to cut tie for the Romans. Yeah, Eddie Jones did really well. He's, <coughs> he was aided by the fact that Lachlan slipped as uh, Jones went to go past him, but he put in a delightful ball right on the, across the six yard box. Very difficult to defend. A little touch by Cook, who got in front of Mapston and into the far corner leaving James Carey hopelessly exposed and 4-0 uh, if there was any, any chance that Froome could uh, get back into this game that has been just extinguished by the city's leading goal scorer. We've got a whole host of substitutions for the Robins here. Yeah, Christopher Peck, Kane Simpson and Martin Lenahan all coming on. Imo Torres coming on. Ben, ben Gary coming on. I mean, I was talking about the Froome substitution being like for like, that's most certainly not. <laughs> it's a very different game to being 2 0 down and having to chase because that's when the spaces appear, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Now into Freer, does well to skip away from his man. He's going to go for goal oh, and it's hit the post, isn't it? Post and wide, Elliot Freer, uh, you know, excellent effort. And I think here he might have been beaten in truth. Yeah, he's beat. He's coming off here for Lloyd James. It's going to be Josh Hours. You've just been singing the praises of. I have, I think he's been excellent today. Really, really good. Not necessarily shown as much as was expected from him since the arrival. This may be the game that uh, really gets him going. It's now Torre, he's played in space inside the area. Mo Torre with a chance off the post. Same post as Freer hit just a few moments ago and then deflects for the throw in. And that one he's just curled, 
shot from the left hand side and got it onto his right foot got across Carey and uh, how unlucky it's Wood now in a bit of space up over the halfway line Looks to slide it through to Freer, which he's done inside the area of Freer, tries to pull it back to Smith it's Peck back they've got a foot in comes to James going to go Ooh. for a strike it's a good hit just a yard or so wide of Carey's post that was a lovely clean strike by the uh, City midfield man and uh, yeah, as you say, a yard wide. We were perfectly lined up here behind it, so as soon as we hit it, we knew it was going wide, didn't we? But it was a good strike. The game's just very quiet, isn't it? Fume Noda well beaten. City just uh, conserving energy in a way. Davis does well there, though. Inside the area. Lays it back to Ollis, 25 yards out. Tries to bend it. It's an excellent effort. It's gone narrowly wide of Murphy's post. Yeah, Murphy, who I'm sure will say he had that covered, but... Uh, Possibly their best best opening second half, I should think. <coughs> Albeit from 20 yards. Yeah, just looking off, he said Bath City. Well, they've got that Somerset Premier Cup tie against Cleveland, a trip to Dorkin on Saturday. The following weekend will be the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. The draw for that is on Monday. Monday at 3.15, isn't it? Uh, I'm not what, sure. Yeah, it is. 3.15 on a Monday afternoon. What's, what's that about? Now, here's Torre into the area his right foot lays it wide for Freer stands up across looking for Cook who heads it back across goal into the net it's five for Bar City Cody Cook has his second it's turning into a very very enjoyable afternoon for the Romans just over seven minutes to go it's Bar City five Broomtown nil yeah and a third assist for uh, Elliot Freer there Torre <laughs> He was looking to work an opening on the edge here, just inside the penalty area for a shot, and eventually just laid the ball wide to Freer to run onto, crossed it towards the far post, and Cook had found himself a yard of space, headed it back across Carey for the fifth goal, and um, City had a very, very enjoyable afternoon. Elliot Benyon has doubled Oxford City's lead over Welling United in the National League South. As corner comes in, and Hallett gets it, but his header drifts over the bar, City crossbar. As Jones with a ball over the top looking for Fletcher, brings it down, then skips past Lenahan, gets to the byline, Fletcher looking for a run, fires it across goal, and it's well, pinball in the Froomtown area, and eventually they just about clear it. But City will be delighted with this. It's, um, you know, in front of a big crowd, and I must uh, mention the Froome supporters who have come here in absolute numbers today several hundred of them I think he's offside Tom Smith is he? Ball over the top he's been forced wide Smith surely he's not going to flag him offside now no I think no. he just about held his run he then manages to bend across in Kiri oh, it to Torrey, no. who's blazed it over from 15 yards with the goal at his mercy that's and a it's another finish. golden opportunity in this game that's been spurned trying to think we had the trainer on obviously no, Tom Smith in the first half wasn't it not but been any stoppages can't imagine too long being added on here and right on cue there isn't because the referee blows the full time whistle it's been a perfect afternoon for Bar City 5-0 victory over Froome Town in this FA Cup third qualifying round it started in the 15th minute Alex Fletcher headed in, heading in the opener Jack Batten doubled the Romans advantage seven minutes for the interval with a header of his own and then the tie was over really two minutes after the interval when Elliot Freer's left-footed strike went into the bottom corner. There was still time in the second half for Cody Cook to bag a brace, his sixth and seventh of the season. There were plenty of chances for both sides outside of that, but ultimately, particularly in that second half, it was a comfortable afternoon to work for Bar City Fields. It was indeed, and Froome, for as long as those players live, they'll look back on those two chances they had when the score was 1-0 uh, and they really should have uh, equalised. That could have made a huge difference but they didn't take them and as a result City had a very comfortable afternoon once the second goal from Jack Batten on 38 minutes went in from the Elliot Frears corner excellent day for City into the fourth qualifying round once again and uh, I know they'll be praying for a favourable draw um, so to try and get through to the first round proper for the first time in 10 years but um, yeah, City would be delighted with that. The Froome players just going over to the uh, popular side where the massed ranks of Froome fans who are applauding their players off 
Well, it must be hard for them after such a thumping in the end. But uh, as I say, they'll rue those two missed chances they had at 1-0. Could have been a different story um, then. But City have come through this cup tie. Potential banana skin, but in atrocious conditions. They'll be delighted with a 5-0 win and uh, await for Monday's draw. That's all from us here. As we said, Bar City will be back next Saturday for that trip to Dorkin Wanderers. If you fancy the trip to Meadowbank, then do go and support the side. Um, and actually, what I'm missing is the Somerset Premier Cup game in midweek, actually, against Clevedon. I, uh, I believe we're going to cover that one if we can, but we'll definitely be at Dorkin next Saturday. Uh, but from Q and myself, thank you very much for tuning in this afternoon with this Somerset derby. Ended in the favour of the Romans, a 5-0 victory. Jerry Gills, Bar City, they'll wait to see their opponents in the fourth qualifying round. The draw is on Monday, the tie will be in a fortnight, and maybe, just maybe, Bar City can end the 10-year exile from the first round. Thank you very much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.